Once a customer enters your shop, they will make critical adjustments like how cheap or expensive your store is and how well coordinated your lighting, fixtures, displays and colours are. An ideal layout of a shop will encourage a circular flow of, of customers through the shop, allowing for access to as many as possible items. It is possible to use furniture, displays, racks and other fixtures to create a clear path for your customers through the, your store. This will vary greatly depending on the size of your general store layout. This not only increases the chances of them making a purchase, but a well thought out plan can be a great way to deliberately control the flow of food traffic in your store. Eye level is buy level. The three main factors to consider in the layout of a store are fixtures and fittings, merchandise and customer flow. Store layout is important as we want to keep customers inside the store. The layout should also influence their shopping decisions and should be a positive experience for every customer. It is important to get the size cubes right in all clothing displays and size cubes need to be displayed on the hanger. There is nothing more frustrating for a customer to struggle to find the right sizes. With clothing, always make sure that the colors of the hangers are the same and that you use the correct branded hanger with the same branded clothing. The clothes must also be hanged or folded according to colors and brands. The department signage must be clear to customers, for example, accessories, footwear and putters. It is always a good idea to theme merchandise together. Men's wear separate from ladies wear. Golf clubs and golf bags may also be arranged together. It is important to have a variety of display units such as wall fixtures, racks, hooks, shelves and rails. Shelves should not be overcrowded as this may be a danger to customers and some merchandise may be hidden. Gondolas should be placed away from the walls to enable customers to walk around the display. Grouping smaller tables together can also be an effective display option. Counters should remain clear and cutter free. However, it is necessary to display small impulsive sale items such as teas, balls and markers on the counter. Remember to consider the needs of people with disabilities, as they may also want to browse in comfort and handle merchandise easily.